Hi guys, my name's Tammy. I'm a new mum again, if that makes any sense. I'm a new mum of um, a four month old. She's nearly five months. Um, I say new new mum again. I'm nervous. <laughs> I say new mum again because I've had, I have a nine year old and I have, like I said, a four month old, nearly five. So like four and a half month old baby and um i just wanted to come and talk about the problems i've had with my baby's milk um because i haven't really seen a lot of reviews or advice about it on youtube on the internet if you're having if you're struggling with your baby being allergic to something some sort of milk my little monsters at the back so anyway right so i'll give you a bit of background so i had my baby january the 17th and she was breastfed for about three to four weeks after that i switched because just because of personal reasons i switched to formula now i've switched to aptamil because that's what i use for my son and um it just was what I was going to use and this was good for like a week well, like the first, she had one whole one and it was okay um and then she I, I I gave her another packet which was a gift um and that was not good no 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 good for her at all she would she was diary every single time I gave her a bottle within 10 minutes she's 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 done a she's done a doo doo diarrhea and then it got so bad one day that she did it at the same time. She did she did diarrhea. She had diarrhea and she vomited at the same time. And what was making me worried was that she'd lost weight and she hasn't she's not meant to lose weight anymore because they come out, they gain a bit of weight, then they're meant to lose, then they just start building. But she came out, she gained some weight, she lost, then she built, then she lost. So I was really, really worried so luckily i have my mum with me and she was like i don't think this acts in also one for her so i tried her on our uh, the good old sma gold or sma pro whatever you call it the old school normal one my niece was on this one my mum said all of us were or well, have three sisters we were all on this so hey hello so it was she said you know try that one so i tried that one it was not good for her. It was just the same as Aptamil. She would throw up. Um, she was having like tummy problems. So, you know, when they when you feed them and they're like scrouching up, like, eh, and that's what she was doing every single time she was eating. She was throwing up a lot. She was still diarrhea and nothing was changing and she was losing more weight. So I was getting very, very, Israel, I was getting very, very worried. From there, I did a little bit of research and uh, I did, I got her SMA Soya. Now the SMA Soya was good, very good. She gained weight very quickly with it, very quickly. I only used this for about, not even two weeks and she gained weight very quickly with this. Problem with this is her skin started breaking out, she started getting eczema and she was getting a rash. Yeah, so... And then I was reading up and they said it's not good from birth. So it's not good from birth. Six months onwards is fine. So I, when I reading that, I was obviously put off. Um, but when she started getting skin problems as well, that was another headache. So I had to stop her off that one. All this time I've gone to the doctor and I'm telling them this. And I'm saying, you know, I think my baby's got a milk allergy. Um, so they prescribed me to, or referred me to a specialist. But that's not until June. And this is when my baby's like four weeks. So between that time, my baby has to eat, obviously. Yeah. The next one I tried was Abtamil Lactose Free. Now, bearing in mind, I'm thinking, okay, she, maybe it's a little milk problem. Like, I don't know. But I'm doing my research and I'm thinking, what is it? What is it? I didn't just buy these for the purpose of this video, by the way. This is everything that she's actually used. And like some of them are like half used, uh, you know, fully used. I used this one for a little bit because I, I had like, three tins of these ones what they are these ones only came in this i think they do sell big ones now but at the time this one only was coming in this one hello um she's fighting something over there 
This one was only coming with this one. So um, this was good. She wasn't throwing up as much as she was throwing up with these ones. She wasn't getting any skin allergy, skin allergy like rashes or um, eczema. Problem with this is she wasn't gaining any weight. She was literally staying the same, if not getting skinnier. And it was worrying because I was just feeling like, okay, she's not throwing up. She's taking it down. She's not having any, you know, she's not feeling like she's looking like she's in pain. But she's not gaining any weight. <sighs> okay, so that one, that pissed me off as well. Next one I had to try was, and this was literally the best of a bad bunch, SMA Comfort which is easy to digest milk. I thought, okay, maybe this one, because if she has a milk problem, maybe this one, it's easier to digest it with this. Um, this, good. I find that she gets very hungry with this and she throws up a hell of a lot with this. So I'm having to feed her a lot more. Uh, she doesn't really have the tummy problems with this, but she's gaining weight very, very, very slowly. And this is probably the longest one I had her on. Um, longest one I had it on so that wasn't great best of the bad bunch anyway so after all of that and I've gone to the doctor and I've complained I've called the health visitor and I don't know what to do anymore I've looked on Google and I've seen even stupid things on Google like I'm going out of my mind as a new mum luckily the day came where she has to do her allergy test and whether she's out to, to milk or not and they didn't do a test on her but um, they prescribed me a milk for her so they've prescribed me I don't know how to pronounce this. Nutram, Nutramigen. Nutramigen, I think it is anyway. They've prescribed me this. You maybe be able to pronounce it better than I can. They've prescribed me this. Now, I only went to go and get this this morning. Um, and I've, she already had the SMA Comfort because that's what I had for her already. She had that this morning. So I've got this this morning. So this was her second feed of the day. Um, and it said give her four ounces, seven ounces, sorry, from four months plus, plus, which is, I guess, okay. Which I guess was all right, yeah. Um, one thing I noticed with this, the consistency of this is like cornflour. It's very, very thin. The milk is very white. Like all these other milks, they're kind of, apart from Aptimil, they're very creamy, but even Aptimil is a little bit creamy. This is like white. It doesn't foam as much. And I did notice that she wasn't like hungry for this. She didn't take it down. Usually with her milk, she's, you know, on the bottle drinking it. This one, if I took it off her, she wouldn't even cry. She was fine to just whatever. And it took her a long time to finish this. So I'm gathering she didn't really like the taste of this one. But, um... I'm gathering she didn't really like the taste of this one but um we'll see how it goes this this was her first feed um so i will update you in like a week to tell you how it's gone whether she takes it down did he throw it up any diarrhea if she's got any stomach pains um but let's keep our fingers crossed but i just want to say like to all the mums out there that have children with like allergies you know keep researching and i feel like as a new mom already you're trying to get into into a role of being a new mom and trying to find your feet as being a new mom and then your baby has a skin has an allergy it's you know it's hard enough trying to get used to being a new mom so just keep your heads up keep researching and follow your own instincts that's one thing i'll tell you because that's one thing i did um, any people were just like, okay, no, just leave her on the milk or whatever. But I was so determined that I was going to find something. And I'm, I'm hoping that is the key, you know. I don't know yet, but I'm hoping it is. Um, but just, yeah, keep going because it's really hard when your child has allergy, especially cow's milk allergy, because that's literally what they have in the first six months of their life. Um, so just keep going. Do your research. I spent a lot of money. I spent a lot of money on formula. It's too much money. But, you know, if I didn't, I would have just left her on that one milk and carried on and carried on. She would have just been sick. She would have not been gaining anywhere and it would have been a bigger issue. So, yes, it's not a good idea to keep switching baby's milk, especially like I was switching it 
probably up until she was like three months, I just kept switching every all the time. And it's not great, but you've got to think about it like they're kind of like adults a little bit. Whereas, yeah, if something doesn't taste good to us, we 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 will change and take something else. So that's what I feel like with children. Like if you're not, if they're not taking it well, you can change and do something else. But obviously, I wouldn't advise someone to do it unless they're desperate. But um. Yeah, but um, I decided to bring her because she's making so so much noise. Mm. Say hello. Mm. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, yeah. So just make sure. Just try and make sure that your baby is responding to what you're giving. Study your baby. Look at your baby. Like only a mother knows. Only a mother knows. But I will update you on how her the milk is going, you know, if she's gaining more weight. Um, but please do comment, subscribe, tell me how your milk um problems are going with your baby if you have any, and I will update you on baby Israel's progress. So say bye-bye. Israel, what are you looking at? Israel, say bye-bye, Israel. Look, over here. Say bye-bye.